Island Manumco feel they were dealt a bad hand with the passage of Bill 19, specifically an amendment preferred by Senator Michael St. Nicholas that will ban all forms of gambling on Guam, including cockfighting and bingo. Annie Sablon is the vice president of the Senior Citizens Group in Sinahanya. When they've determined that there, if, there, if uh, Sinahanya, Senior Citizen, or any other centers, the, the senators have to understand that seniors is, is different. We are here, we're a nonprofit organization. We don't have any money coming in to our, to our center, okay? This is just a game of fun. Should Bill 19 be signed into law, it would ban all forms of gambling once the Guam Memorial Hospital pays off its debt to vendors. Senator St. Nicholas on the floor said it was all or nothing. And that's exactly what Sinahonia Mayor Robert Hoffman believes revenues will be once gambling is stripped from the annual Liberation Carnival and other MCOG-sponsored activities. The gaming part of the Liberation and the raffle covers a lot of the expenses that the Liberation festivities take in. Sponsors are, are there, but they're, they're not enough to cover really. Uh, many of the improvements made at the carnival were because of the gaming that exists there. Hoffman says village mayors were completely blindsided by the St. Nicholas Amendment. It was in February Senator Chris Duenas boasted about the revenues that would be generated from collecting taxes from limited gaming on Guam. Matter of fact, the Mayor's Council of Guam even went so far as passing a resolution in support of Bill 19 back in February. I was kind of shocked when I heard, first heard about it. I was at the legislature in the morning, uh, half of the session, and was asking how, well, how does this affect the Mayor's Council how, and or our senior citizens operations, how does this affect liberation. And, we were kind of assured, like, you know, it's not going to happen. This is, you know, Bill 19 is about the GNOC sports bingo, and Bill 20 is about the gaming devices. So this is not your fight. A fight that Island Manemko, like Amanda L.G. Santos, feel they weren't even given a chance to defend themselves. I wish we could talk to those senators and explain it to them. Our situation here is Manemko, because they're not in their, their Manemko. Uh, <laughs> they're not really in their senior citizen years. And maybe they don't understand what's going on here. They should come and visit us. With the potential loss of funding for senior citizen centers and the liberation festivities, Mayor Hoffman suggests that senators take over the planning of the liberation to see how successful it will be without the funding generated by gaming. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovez.